but I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. Just keep going. But there's a house, so there's a house down river. I do believe maybe a, a half mile, but I didn't see it when Mo and I were up here. Maybe I passed it already. This this campsite doesn't look too bad. If I pitch here, I'm on the fucking trail though. Hmm. I just don't, it's pretty steep here after. Not a lot of places near the river where water's available. This has a nice seat. That water's really gone down. Let's see if there's any leaves accumulated. Oh yeah, it's gone down. You can see the dark. And that's even from last weekend. Last weekend, this bush was half in the water. That's really going down. <sighs> God, it's a good campsite. Damn it. Oh, Mo, look at this one. This is just past where you and I stopped and laid down in the grass. I mean, it sucks that it's on the trail, but what a nice camp. You got a place to, place to sit. Someone was hacking away at that. Pre-made fireplace. Whole nine yards. I just don't see a flat spot for a tent, but I bet I could patch it right under there. That looks great. A little bit of a slope. Yeah, nice. Nice. Look how much this, uh, this water's gone down. Like, holy smokes. That's gone down a bunch, whole bunch. Sixth cast, streamer. About a 14 inch, maybe 12 inch brown. Another one caught on the streamer. This is where that little one was just caught. Right there. <coughs> Had to crawl up on my knees. This whole this whole river where it's accessible looks like that, just fast ripples. There's hardly any structure for the fish. I'd like to get now with a spinner I would have tried to get over there behind that rock and right here behind this rock and then where I just caught this one but if you look upstream there's a Y now I'm gonna go check that out right now I can't I can only cast about mm, maybe 40 feet with the weight that I have on and I'm noticing that <clears throat> The weight is, well, I mean, it's enough, but I'm not used to it because the spinner, you know, the spinner would, would keep down on the water, whereas the, uh, the streamer is floating up to the surface on a little bit quicker water. Maybe I'm not, I'm, I'm sure I'm not fishing it right, but that's what's happening. Look at that view.
try to get in that meadow. See if I can't hit that pool. Jeez. People in the fences. So this trail starts climbing just right at that lake, actually a little bit before. And it keeps going up and up and up to avoid this guy's fence. That lake is supposed to be, it's labeled as a recreation area, but I bet it's not. I'll bet it's private. Probably Liz Cheney. But um, there's a road that hooks to a trailhead in that ravine over there. You got to drop down and hit this trail and you can go deeper into the encampment area here in Medicine Bow. Some good looking water down there, but I'm not climbing down there for a trout. Jesus, I just walked, I don't know, maybe eh, three miles. The last mile was kind of an upward climb. So the hell with that. I'll go back to camp, make lunch, and uh, strip off this long sleeve, long sleeve shirt and undershirt. And uh, yeah, go upstream, go fish upstream. I want to hit that pool with a stone fly. See what happens. So, like anything else, everything's kind of gone downhill, so to speak. So, Kraft macaroni and cheese is not what it used to be. And I know this. And I tried the, the Mountain House macaroni and cheese where you put the water in the bag and let it set for 12 minutes. And it ended up sick for an hour hanging over a log my drawers pulled down <laughs> in the rain so I ordered Anthony's cheese freeze-dried cheese Anthony's freeze-dried butter Anthony's dehydrated milk I put together my own macaroni and cheese I got decent noodles I put together a packet of freeze-dried milk powdered cheese a little bit of butter, <clears throat> added some salt, some pepper, a touch of cayenne, and a touch of, uh, of uh, garlic. So we'll see how it comes out. I think it'll probably come out pretty good. Waiting for my rain fly to dry out. <clears throat> Sunday morning. Well, I guess it's. I'm guessing it's probably 7:30. But uh, 
for a great weekend. Caught a lot of fish. Hung out. It's a good time. I guess that rancher's got his cows off the mountainside. There were cows up there all weekend. Anyway, next time I come out, it'll probably be going up to the, the lakes and Medicine Bow up on top. I fear that it's going to be overrun with people, but we'll see. It was a good trip. 